Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, following along. And this is awesome. This is beautiful. There it is. Damn, we're all set up. Inducer. Let's go, baby. Get Salsalito, let's get it. I'm gonna cruise out. We got the marina just out here. Herring and halibut. And that's what we're gonna go target right now. Cruise, we can't even see it's so foggy. And I got my cast net here. <laughs> Beautiful backdrop here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We got the fog, cold, it's 33 degrees in the East Bay this morning when I left. The downfall rate that Nong hooked me up with is steel leaders on all three sides. And then I got the Dodger Flasher, the Squid Hoochie with the trap rig. And there's the Golden Gate, the city itself. Just enjoying the scenery, enjoying that being out on San Francisco Bay. That's what the Solus gets all about, these adventures like this. I love it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fishing Sith. We're cruising in to San Francisco, Salsalito right here. Checking out the boat ramp. It is Monday, February 13th, 2024. I'm here in San Francisco Bay Area. I made the drive up from San Diego for a Super Bowl party, lobster party with the family in the East Bay. But unfortunately, um, the Niners lost the Super Bowl. But it's all good, I'm out here the day after. I got the launch ramp right here. Uh, I was trying to figure out the parking situation. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go for a herring with the cast net and the sabiki. And we're gonna go for halibut fishing at Angel Island. So we're gonna get set up right here. Oh, I love this. This is what it's all about, just traveling to new places, meeting new people doing new stuff and adventuring. We're here in February, middle of February, winter time. And this is what we're looking like for the launch ramp here. Well, I am going to go ahead and take the skiff out on the wheels. Beautiful. Take the skiff out on the wheels, bring it down, launch it out. Maybe pull it down to the side over there. People paddle boarding. Just a beautiful day here in San Francisco. Living the dream. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound that like, show all the love and support that you all have been doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, following along. I mean, this is awesome, this is beautiful. All right, so check it out. I'll give you a little rundown of how I do my uh, traveling here. I got my rods and my reels on the inside and the front. And then here's this, this skiff. So basically I just got it sticking out the back with the orange flag. No T-bed extender, no nothing. And I got all my gear on the inside. Can't even keep my seat on. It's all good. And then I got my motor right here, my wheels, my cooler, a bunch of tackle and everything is on the inside. Let's go ahead and get set up. I'll do a little time lapse and then go over my gear and everything like that as I'm going out on the water. we're all set up road warrior mode travel mode so starting off i got on the inside i took i store all my rod holders 
all of these come off and they pop off and they store inside my hatch here which is also plumbed for a live well so one of those rod holders i got here for my camera then i got my fish finder i was charging the batteries i got it back. my drive box right here with my battery and it's wired i got a lithium 12 volt battery gold mate check that out all my rigs halibut balance ball rigs and everything like that hobie rod holders on the h rails then i got scotty rod holders back here on the h rails with these hobie mounts this is all one piece hobie rig all my rods and reels i'll go my setups on the water filled up my gas got my uh, gas tank right here three gallon external gas tank got that filled up radio pliers sword fillet knife a cup holder for my coffee put the motor on i just lay the motor flat take it off and then if you lay it on the tiller side flat that's how i transport in the back of the truck my paddle for backup transducer and then the, that's my wheels they're looking kind of bowed out which isn't good but i'm gonna make it happen bring it down to the ramp right here take the wheels off over there on the mud we'll park my truck pull it in and get going let's go baby Good thing I strapped my wheels. Yeah, so that's what I like about these wheels. These straps right here. And I can pack them in the back of my truck. And they just have my skip coming out the back end like I was showing you. All right, and then all you gotta do is lift up, hold the side. I could have made it easier on myself. Put the motor on down here, but. We got it going. Step number one, that's good. Oh uh, yeah, let's get it baby. NorCal Adventures, 2024. Did it a lot in 2020. All right, found my parking lot here, like 20 bucks a day. It's a bird, I got a truck parked in parking lot number four right there. 20 bucks for all day parking. I don't know if I can get by on the trail over here. Walk around. Skip's just down over there. Lon Chow, I was just talking to JR. Shout out to JR down in San Luis Obispo. Cause he hooked me up with the bluefin tuna. Helped me out get that when I got that off of the central coast there. But he got a sailboat here in the marina in Salsalito back over there. So and then there's also herring like I was saying. I was just talking to a guy at the launch ramp and he was talking about the herring. I gotta look for the birds for the life. Hopefully the sun comes out and the fog breaks out so that we can all see a little bit better. And then afterwards I brought my bounce ball rigs for Angel Island, really trying to focus on halibut fishing this year so that maybe I can get myself a Pacific halibut. That's the dream, but this is beautiful. It's almost like I could pull it down the trail right here. A little bit more difficult and challenging. There she is right there. Pure beauty, the dream, the solo skiff. Hit me up, californiaskiffs at gmail.com. Let me know if you want to get yourself a new solo skiff. I got them ready to go, ready for you to pick up and get your solo skiff dreams coming true wherever you are at. Baja, Mexico, up in the Pacific Northwest, San Diego. Northern California, help you out, make your dreams come true. Let's get launched. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it like so. And kind of skate it out like a skateboard. There we 
go. Now they got it launched. Beautiful. Go ahead and fire up the motor. First. Flip it down. And then I'm gonna plug in my external gas tank. Give it pumps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten pumps. Put the choke out about halfway, three quarters. Put it in neutral. Give it a little bit of gas. We'll fire it one handed. Yeah. We're cruising, put it into gear. And there it is. Solos get Salsalito, let's get it. Look at this wooden boat, cool. So here it is, I'm over here at the boat now, JR's boat. Thank you, JR. He's got Newport. I think it's a 30 foot Newport, but the the name of the boat, those symbols on those flags, that means love. That's how his mom named it. So that's super, super cool. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cruise out. We got the marina just out here. He gave me the hookup, the information for herring and halibut. And that's what we're gonna go target right now. First things first is we got the we got the cast net on the inside. I got my sabikis ready to go. But I'm gonna kind of cr slowly cruise through the bay, make it through this fog, and look for herring, and then go fish for some halibut. So, so cool. So, let's get some adventures, Northern California, living the dream here. Get the motor fire back out and cruise. All right, we're cruising. You can't even see it's so foggy. You can't even see the marina back behind me. But you can see barely. Tiburon across the way. I'm looking for birds, I'm looking for life, and I'm looking for marks on the meter. Keep moving, keep moving. It is 922. I got my rig set up. I got my sabiki right here. I have my spinner, little small with the Berkeley Gulp and a candy bar lead head on it. And then I got my bounce ball halibut rig with the flasher and the squid hoochie that I'll be putting some Berkeley Gulp scented white plastic on it, one of these guys. And I got my cast net here. I haven't really thrown this. I got this on my trip out to Florida. Three foot diameter. Instructions enclosed. Hopefully I, nope. It looks like here's the end of it. So I'll practice throwing the cast net if I can see any herring. So there's, I've been keeping my eyes out. You can't even see the Golden Gate Bridge right now because it's so foggy. JR was saying that this is the zone where the herring are at. But look for birds and life and stuff on the meter. I'm gonna make my way around the corner over towards Paradise and try to see if I can get any herring. I just passed over a seal. I saw another seal swimming over here and then I got these birds here. I'm gonna try to jig the... Now, you know what? I'm gonna give a shot with the cast net just to practice. See if I can get a throw in. Yeah, I looked up online. I'm really getting sucked out. The tide's ripping out. But I'm online. Uh, I looked online how to cast this cast net or how to throw it. So I got my loop on the end. I'm gonna take about, I don't know, a foot or two of rope and bunch it up in my left hand, because I'm left-handed, so I'm throwing it left-handed. I'm just gonna bunch up the rope. Then I'm gonna take the horn here. That's what they call this piece at the top. I'm also gonna hold the horn in my hand. I'm gonna take in between two of the beads, make sure that all this is, there we go. And what I'm gonna do, now, take in between two of the weights, pinch it, or I mean put it in my mouth. I 
hinten Auto zahlen. Go like that. Practice. Practice makes perfect. Let it sink down. And pull it up. Nope. Lousy. Ferry's been going across. I'm over it. Halibut fishing time. Gotta practice my cast net skills if I'm gonna be fishing up here. You can use it in the bay here. Can't use it in Southern California and San Diego. Beautiful backdrop here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We got the fog. Cold. It's 33 degrees in the East Bay this morning when I left. About six o'clock in the morning. Got here at seven. Talking to JR, getting set up. 9.30 right now, and unfortunately I ran out of batteries on my fish finder. I'm gonna jig around a little bit around these birds and then make my way. I got Navionics and Google Maps on my phone. I'm gonna make my way around the corner over towards Paradise and do some halibut fishing over there. Big tanker ship coming through the Golden Gates through the fog over there. That goes out into the open ocean. I just saw another seal or somebody cruising by here. A lot of birds sitting around. There's a seal over there. Couple seals. on the hillsides and everything like that. Just loving the change of scenery. It's beautiful here. Sweet. Keep going. We're going around the corner. And I can't even see Angel Island. Angel Island somewhere over here. Oh, there's a dolphin. A little baby one. Whew. Cold and foggy. Almost there, around this corner. Man, the sun I feel like wants to come out. But it's not coming out. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm in the area kind of where I wanna be. Herring didn't go like planned because I'm very bad with the cast net. I need to practice a lot more, get better at the cast net. But I'm gonna take my halibut bounce ball rig that Nom hooked me up with. It's essentially a three-way swivel, but it has steel leaders on all three sides of the swivel. I got this, I think it's a 16 ounce ball weight. And then I got this Dodger flasher coming down to squid hoochie with the trap rig. It's got a J hook and a treble hook. I'm gonna take my scented Berkeley gulp here. It's a large one, white and pink. Grub tail, single little grub tail on it. Or it's a big, it's a six inch pink slime. And I'm gonna go ahead. And put my J hook in the top of it. My trap hook at the back. This is about 20 feet of water here. And I'm gonna, the current sucking me is perfect. It's sucking me out, so I'm gonna go against it. 
Get this down on the bottom. There you go. Get a little bit off the bottom so I don't get snagged up. And we're gonna control for halibut. And then I'm gonna tie a candy bar twister spoon to jig with. Bam. Remember, 5% off online order at squidcofishing.com with code name Mikey. Now I'm just drifting while I tie this up. Take my sword titanium pliers here. Remember, link in the description. You can purchase, use my affiliate link for the sword pliers and the sword play knife that I make a commission off of that, some money, and that helps out support the channel. I'm tie my jam knot here, seven turns. I think it's just eight pound test I have on my spoon or on my little spinner setup right here. I can cast this. See if this is all the way on the bottom, yeah? Dang. Not what I wanted. Oh my gosh. And then I let all the way this, all the way out. And I'm caught on the bottom here too. Okay. That. Come over the top of this guy. Oh, because I was telling you, I got a steel leader. So, what am I doing? I got lucky. I whipped it with the bull whip and I got it. But I lost the weight. Better than losing my flasher. I'm very happy that the weight was on a lighter weight clip. That's how Nom had it set up. So instead of putting the weight on the big heavy clip, he had another smaller swivel. That's what I was able to break. You can get a fresh weight, make my way a little bit further, put it back down. It's a cool little spot. Make it around the corner here, start fishing. So it's been a struggle today. With the cast net and with that valve ball rig, but that's how it goes, I'm learning. I'm learning, gotta get better. Okay, that's where I wanna go, that's where I wanna be. I'm gonna put my rig back out. Slow trolling it. Troll hard, baby. Troll hard. Mixing it up here. Doing more of a, of a drift go across this cove. Since my fish finder ran out of batteries, I'm using my Navionics here. And I'm on the high side of a drop off. I'm gonna put my rig back out. But first, I only have a five ounce weight. I wanna put a heavier weight. Up. So I got a 10 ounce weight. I'm gonna double down the 10 ounce weight on. Move forward a little bit. Make sure that the flashers, the rig's working good. And drop it down. See, I'm still really shallow. That probably only felt like 10 feet, maybe less. 
good keeper. See? All is tangled. Come on, Mikey. Very shallow. And then something happened as I got to the bottom, so watch this. Oh, it's not tangled. All right, it's almost high noon now. No biters, but the fog is finally clearing off. I'm gonna go ahead and take, I put, tied on a double drop shot now with double Berkeley Gulp, scented white plastics, grub tails, double drop shot. I'm gonna go ahead, drop this down. There's some birds going on, going off further in the distance, but I'm gonna see what I can do here. Going on today. Fogs burn off. You can see the bridge. That's the bridge that I came across. Richmond Bridge. This morning on the way out here. I got my drop shot out right here. Double drop shot. But I'm gonna bring this in. No biters on this one either. And I'm gonna put my bounce ball rig back out and give it another shot. Practice some more with this. I got the Berkeley Gulf on the hoochie with the treble trailer, treble hook, and a single hook. And I got the Dodger Flasher, and then I have a 10 ounce weight. So what I've learned, I want to be moving forward as I'm putting in the water. Double check it, make sure that it's not tangled right now. Put it in neutral as I drop it. All the way at the bottom. Now I'm gonna put it in gear. There we go. Pretty shallow here. I'm gonna get to the edge of the drop off. Let out a little bit more. Try to get bit. Let's go baby. Saw some ducks flying across by earlier. There's the ferry going across. Check out that ferry. Both of them, there's one coming each direction. Just, those things are fast. 30 miles an hour, I don't know how fast they go, but it looks like it. We're still out here drifting, halibut fishing. That is gonna do it for fishing over here. I'm gonna keep all my rigs tied up. Keep them on. And then maybe fish Angel Island because the fog's clearing up. You can see all the way north right now. And we'll see about seeing what we can see back towards the marina and the city. Definitely need to hone up my skill set for fishing over here. It's different. Cast net, need to practice. Get a bigger cast net, practice more with the cast net figure out this halibut bounce ball stuff and just maybe get some live bait. What time is it? I think it's almost one o'clock too. I'm gonna be hitting some traffic, but it's all it's all good. That's how it goes. Now it's 12.30. Make my way back. Fish Angel Island maybe a little bit. And then head back home. NorCal Adventures, baby. Next ship we got coming through here, big old tanker ship, seal cruising, tanker ships across the way, lots of action in the bay here, huge, San Francisco Bay is just gigantic, see all these birds, might cast my crocodile over here, no I'm just gonna keep going. I'll go fast. Woo wee, there it is. Oh, I got it all turned around. There's the Gold Gate Bridge right there. Yeah. San Francisco. So Angel Island just across the way. 
I'm gonna make my way through there. Since there's no, uh, I just see this one sailboat. No, we got a boat coming that way. And the ferry. No, nah, you know what? I'm not gonna make my way over. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hug the coast and go back to the marina. Call it good. Super nice over here, a little bit rougher over here in the channel. But not too bad. Solo skip, I can handle it. Solo skip and handle it. Just gonna motor our way back. Gorgeous backdrop. Next we got we got big dog boat over here coming through. It looks like he's pointed and he's gonna be coming over here. And I wanna go over there. So I'm gonna let him pass through first. There's the city, San Francisco, the actual city in the distance in the background over there. See Koi Tower. There's the downtown skyline just coming past Angel Island here. So cool. We got Alcatraz, Alcatraz, San Francisco, Sausalito, Golden Gate Bridge, Pacific Ocean. Alright, I want to just check it out. I'm going to go over to Angel Island here. Back over here at Angel Island. I'm going to put my drop shot. I don't want to mess around too much. My cast my drop shot out there. Some waves from the ferries. Woo. I think it's pretty deep over here. There we go, I'm at the bottom now. Alright, here we are, backside of Angel Island now. Just doing exploring all over the bay. The better fishing spots, I think, are on the opposite sides, over there and over there. So I'm not gonna fish here. Plus, it's also getting later in the day. I want to. I don't want to get crammed in too much traffic going back. But this is just beautiful. At the marina, that's where I came from, Salcedo over there. That's where the marina's at. Like I was saying, there's the Golden Gate. There's the the city itself. Oh, Twin Peaks, that's the tower up on top of Twin Peaks in the background. Skyline starting to pop out across the way here. Sales Forest One Tower. And then should be able, if I go a little bit further. Yeah, there's the Bay Bridge. You got the Golden Gate Bridge and then that's the San Francisco Bay Bridge. The East Bay gets more mixed up. It's nice and uh, tight to the islands. It's all flat and glassy. Then it gets a little rougher out here. A lot different now than it was before with no fog. Just enjoying the scenery, enjoying that being out on San Francisco Bay. That's what the Solo Skiff's all about. These adventures like this. I love it.
The are the herring you mean? Herring. You know, I didn't find them. Okay. I, I wasn't. They, this is the time of the year, you know, and then this is the spot out here. But it was a lot of fog this morning. It was hard to see, yeah. and uh, I'm not the best with my cast net either. So, but this is the time I've heard that they're around, but I wasn't able to get any. Yeah. Yeah, this has the, been the total dream. I'm, I'm in San Diego, but I got some family here, so that's where I mostly fish down there off of it. But yeah, this has been because I can load it in the back of my truck and take it anywhere. It's been, I've been down to Baja and then I've been all the way up to Oregon, so. Wow, super. Yeah. Solo skip. It's called the solo skip. You went down, you went down to Baja on this boat? Well, I, I put it in my truck and then I drove it down there. Yeah. Wow. And I've been up to uh, Oregon, uh, Gold Beach, Rogue River. So I was fishing salmon up there, and then Mahi Mahi and Dorado and Yellowtail down in Baja. Wow. It's just opened up the world to me. You know, I was just doing lobsters in San Diego. I'm gonna go tomorrow to Tamales Bay, go crabbing up there. So, yeah, it's the solo skiff. That's what it is. Been, it's called the solo skiff. And then, and then uh, SD Fishing Sips. That's my YouTube channel. So I, I do all my adventures, and I, that's why I got my cameras and everything like that. I do it on YouTube. I'll, I'll take a picture. You're on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's YouTube. SD Fishing Tips. Yeah. Oh, that's great. 